Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, principal owner of a school and a tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Our lesson for today is set of integers or the signed numbers. You learn from grade school, like grade 1, maybe to grade 4, that there are only positive numbers. But this time, you will learn that there are also negative numbers. The set of integers is the set of 0. So you have here 0. The positive integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. We call this the positive integers or integers and the negative integers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on and so forth. So these are the negative there. integers or integers there. So we have, again, the set of integers is equal to the negative integers, 0, and the positive integers. Why are there negative numbers? Because there are things in real life like weight loss. Let's say you have a loss of 10 kilos. How would you represent that? So, of course, you're going to use negative 10. Like we also have decrease in temperature. Like if there was a decrease in temperature of 2 degrees, how would you represent that? That's going to be represented by negative 2. What else? Um, weight gain. So that's positive. These are positive numbers for weight gains. And uh, let's say we have debts. Debts, D-E-B-T-S. These are negative numbers or let's say there is a loss of two thousand or twenty thousand dollars so these are negative numbers now in when you represent integers on the number line the zero is of course at the middle the positive numbers are to the right there, 5 and 6, and the negative numbers are on the left side. There we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. And you have to remember that if a number is on the left side, it is always less than all numbers to the right. Let me write that that a number a number is always less than all numbers to the right all numbers to its right for example repeat a number is less than all numbers to its right for example negative 5 so negative 5 is less than negative 1. Negative 5 is on the left side of negative 1. So negative 5 is less than negative 1. Negative 1 is less than 0. As you can see, negative 1 is to the left of 0. So negative 1, which is a number, is less than all the numbers to its right. So negative 1 is also less than 3, negative 2 is less than 5. Negative 2 is to the left of 5. And if you reverse this, of course, a number to the right is always greater than all numbers to its left. So that here, 6 is greater than 0, 5 is greater than negative 5. 5 is to the right. It is greater than negative 5. So negative 2 
is to the right of negative 5. So negative 2 is greater than negative 5. So here, negative 1 is what relation to negative 6? Let us say we have here a negative 6. So negative 1 is to the right of negative 6. So negative 1 is greater than negative 6. Did you get it? Again, a number is always less than all numbers to its right. In the same manner, a number is greater than a number like negative 1 is greater than all numbers to its left. There. Now, uh, knowing this, we can now answer the following question. Question number 1. Arrange the following integers in increasing order from left to right. <clears throat> so if we arrange this in increasing order from left to right, which is the smallest. Smallest is negative 201. Next, do you think it's the next? Negative 31. Next one, to the right of negative 31 is negative 16 give me a number next to negative 16 so that's going to be 0 next to 0 is 10 and next to 10 is 30 there that's how you arrange the numbers in increasing order from left to right Problem number two, let us apply what we have learned here. Negative three is less than negative five. So if you draw them, let's say this is zero, this is negative three, this is negative five. Negative three is to the right of negative five. So negative three must be greater than negative five. So letter A is false. There. Letter B, letter B here, negative 19 is on the left side. Let's say this is zero. Positive two is on the right side. So is negative 19 less than two? Yes, true, because negative 19 is on the left of two. So the answer is true. Letter C. Oh, where is 101? 101 is on the right side. While negative 101 is on the left side. So, the number to the right is always greater than the number to the left. So, letter C is true. <clears throat> what about letter D? If this is 0, let us say this is negative 11. Negative 8 will be somewhere here. Negative 11 is on the left of negative 8. Therefore, negative 11 must be less than negative 8. So, is this true? No, it is false. So, always remember again, a number is always less than all numbers to its right. And a number is greater than all numbers to its left. Next, number three. What signed number represents the following? Remember I told you a while ago that integers represent uh, zero positive and negative numbers. So they represent gain, loss, decrease, increase. So if we have a gain of 2,000 pesos, this is represented by gain is positive 2,000. Because of the word gain, you have the positive sign. A loss of 2,000 pesos, loss is negative 2,000. Next, a decrease of 17 kilos, so minus 17 because of the word decrease. Letter H. An increase of 10 kilos, increase is positive. So we have here positive 10. And letter I, 
a temperature increase of 30 degrees. There's an increase, so that is positive 30 degrees. What if I add another one here? Um, a temperature decrease. Oh, if I make this a temperature decrease of 30 degrees, so we have negative 30 degrees there. So I hope I was of help to you. Please don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell button so that we can continue on uploading some more videos in math. Don't forget to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Subscribe. Thank you.